You know, folks, you would think that when a software, when a company brings out their software, antivirus software, you think for one instant, for one second, that they would at least let you know that one of the things that come with it is a backwards drive. In other words, you think they would tell you that when it does its virus program and it checks for viruses is like it should but not but only like at se two separate occasions you would think you would think they would have enough sense in their minds to go like oh yeah we we should tell them it's going to be a backup. We should tell them that unless they have a big gigabyte hard drive or, or T hard drive or whatever you want to call it. Or T3 or 3T, whatever you want, 4T hard drive. That a lot of their space is going to be taken up, not just by the stuff they download or upload, no, no, but by the stuff that gets backed up because of the, due to the Norton due to the virus, antivirus program. You think they would let you know that, wouldn't they? Well, obviously Norton doesn't. I mean, I understand the Norton antivirus program has to do its job. It's got a scan for viruses. Anytime you upload something or you download something or you go to a certain website, it's got to come up and scan, do a full system, full background scan and all that. I understand that. But you know, <laughs> You'd think they'd take a page and learn learn take and learn take and learn from a page of other antivirus programs that you only need to do a virus scan once or twice a day and that's it. And at least let your consumers that use that virus antivirus program know that they shouldn't be on the computer when it happens from the certain time periods, whether it's a half hour, hour or even two. Don't be on the computer you either use your iPod or your iPhone or whatever or your Kindle or your iPad to go on the internet until the time is right. You'd think they'd let you know that, but no, they don't do that. Well, I got news for the people that created the Norton, Norton antivirus programs. We un I understand it's got to do its job. It's got to make sure no viruses come around, and it's done a pretty good job. But if you're going to bring it out, revise it, update it, here's one of the things you revise and update. Make sure it's only once or twice a day, and at least you give us warning that it's going to happen so we can be off the computers when it happens. And you know what you could also do? You could take your damn backup drives and shove it up. They could, you could just take the damn backup drives and be rid of them. That's why they sell external hard drives. That's why they give you one or two drives in your computer right off the bat. That's why they sell the external 3Ts, 4T hard drives. Or 40 gigabyte hard drives, 200, 800 gigabyte hard drives. That's why they sell those things. So people can stick them in, save the stuff, and back it up. We don't need to constantly back it up because of your program. Because you feel your program needs to do it. We don't need to do that. I don't, when I had the AVG antivirus program, it never did that. So take a page from them. Take a page from them. And I'm sure anybody who agree watching this will agree. Take a page from those people. From the AVGNs and anybody else. Even the McAfee's maybe. You don't need to back up the files. Leave that to the people that have the files. Let them do it. Let us. Don't do it yourselves, because it ruins things on the computers. It drives us down in space. Keep that in mind.